Hey guys, welcome to the Introvert Dating Success Show, courtesy of introvertdatingsuccess.com. I'm your host as always, Harry Wilmington. And today, I want to talk to you about being great in dating at doing the bare minimum. Now, why do I want to talk about you being able to do the bare minimum as opposed to going all out? Well, in my dating life, I have found that for many women that I've dated, Early on when I was a not so great day when I was kind of novice at this stuff, I was trying to overextend myself for the women that I wanted to date and that I really, really liked. Because I thought to myself, man, if I just go all out for them, then they're going to see how much I really like them. They're going to see how dedicated I am to getting to know her and trying to build us into a relationship. And then she too will feel that and want to connect with me faster and deeper than she could have possibly imagined. But what actually ended up usually happening was I was chasing women away. And for the longest time, I didn't understand that. Like I would do simple stuff like, you know, for example, if a woman needed a ride to the airport, I would volunteer giving her a ride to the airport and they would respond with, why are you doing that? That seems like it's a lot. What are you trying to do? Are you, are you really like this? Like what's going on? And my brain couldn't wrap itself around the understanding of like why it is that going above and beyond for women was such a bad idea. I mean, if these women want, want to know that I like them and I'm going to be there for them. Why not do this stuff early on? Like, you know, plan these big extravagant dates or, you know, buy them some big expensive thing or, you know, go out of my way to be there for them for these various things or talk to myself. Like I didn't understand what that was about. And so you might be in that same situation. Like you're going after women and trying to, you know, overextend yourself and show them that you really want them and you're getting turned away or it's looking like needy behavior and et cetera, and et cetera. But what, what is the reasoning for that? And I think as guys, we don't ever take time at times to think about why is it that the things that we're doing aren't resonating with women? Like, what is it about a woman's dating experience that makes her want to turn this kind of stuff away? All right. And so in thinking about this and honestly, in having conversations in the past with women that I've dated before, uh, we, we would date for an extended amount of time and they would start telling me about some of the previous guys that they dated. What I came to understand is something that I think is very important for you as a male dater to understand, okay? And it's this, is that most women aren't even getting the bare minimum that it would take for them to want to date a guy. And so what I realized is that when we as guys come into a situation and we're trying to overextend ourselves, what I've told you guys before in this program is this, is that Women feel things three times more than we are intentionally trying to do it. So at the point where on a first or second date, you're paying for, say, a thousand dollar dinner or you're trying to fire out someplace, you're thinking you're just doing this out of goodness of your heart and it's a first date. So you want to make it like a really memorable first date. They're reading three times more into that as you're trying to already put them in a relationship. You're trying to force them to have certain types of feelings. But also to the point is that you're going so far beyond in their head what their expectations actually are. And what I found is that most, for most women, when they date, they're not able to get guys to do the simplistic things. So there's jokes that women make sometimes, but like they'll make a joke about a guy like, you know, I just want a guy that, you know, knows how to dress, dress good. Like, oh, that's really like low bar. But the reality is most guys for them can't even get to the low bar. And so here's my understanding of how this works. Okay. Is that a woman's going to be more accepting of your ability to show her the overextension of what you're trying to show her for affection if she can first see that you're consistent on the bare minimums. And a lot of guys are great at doing these high-end things and doing like the overextending to really show how much they care or whatever, but on a day-to-day basis, they can't do the basic stuff. And what's important to know is that for most women, they understand that On a day-to-day with you, if they end up deciding to become your girlfriend and live with you and become your fiance and then get married or whatever, that you're not going to go above and beyond every day. You're just not. Let's face it. It's too expensive. It's too time-consuming. And that's not a realistic way for a relationship to to happen, okay? But what is going to happen is the day-to-day and the basics that she set forth that she's hoping are going to be able to be things you can carry on beyond just these tastes where she's going on dates with you, okay? So what I put together is this. Here's an example. I'm going to give you guys a listing of some of the low effort things that women would like guys to do 
that they're just not doing on dates, okay? And the thing is this, if you're able to perfect just some of these things and be consistent with it, that's gonna allow her to start feeling more trust for you. It's going to allow her to see that you really do care about her on a more realistic basis. And then once she trusts you on these things, as you throw in extra stuff, it'll be a bonus but it's not gonna take away from her caring for you because she knows that you can do the day-to-day -day stuff. Here's just a few examples of things that oh, over my time dating women, I've heard them say, I wish a guy would just do this or guys in my past couldn't do this simple stuff here, all right? This is just a small list. So, examples of low best efforts that women want, okay? Someone who listens. Like, most women can't get a guy to even listen to them on a realistic enough level to where they feel a connection. Uh, dating somebody who won't insult me. A lot of guys, if a woman has a differing opinion or brings up a critique of them in their dating, want to throw out the insults. Oh, you B word, or you're, this is why you're whatever. You're just a single mom, this and that, whatever. Like they throw out all these insulting terms to them. And it's like, that's some low level respect stuff. Like you can't respect a woman to not call out of her name in a discussion. How is she going to trust you to like have deeper discussions or get into deeper stuff where you're not going to be throwing, hurling insults at her all the time? Um, someone who's truthful, like doesn't lie. Uh, somebody who's able to plan dates without my help. And this is what I learned from online dating where I'd be able to get dates with women and on those first dates, they'd be telling me about how shocked they were that I actually like picked out a day and time and didn't ask them for their opinion about the date. Because most women on these first dates are looking for a guy they can plan. That signals to them that they're a guy that if they can plan a date, they can help plan a life together. But most guys, again, bare minimum, what do you want to do on a date? Well, I want to do whatever you want to do. They can't even ask, tell a woman where they want to go and take them. They can't make a plan on their own. Like women are looking for that. Again, this is bare minimum stuff, guys. Um, asking me questions about myself. Guys go on dates and talk all about themselves and don't ask the woman anything about her. Or if they do, they use it as a way to segue into them talking about themselves, which women hate. Uh, respecting her boundaries. Simple stuff like, oh, I don't want to kiss right now, or hey, I don't want to sleep with you on a first date. And the women end up getting insulted or the guy's still trying to push forward and do what he wants to do anyway. That is a basic minimum that a lot of guys surprisingly aren't able to follow. Um, let's me talk without interrupting. So many guys go on dates and ask women questions and they start talking. And before the woman can finish the sentence, they jump in. Again, this is a bare minimum low effort uh, request that women have is to let them complete a full sentence without you interrupting and then actually, you know, listen to them and respond back with something that they were talking about, not your own story. Continuing on, uh, picks up after himself. So many uh, women date guys that once they start getting in a relationship with them, they're picking up their laundry, they're picking up their uh, dishes in the sink and all this stuff around the house because the guy just suddenly lost control and doesn't know how to do that himself, okay? Again, bare minimum stuff, guys. Um, ask my opinion on things. Some guys just wanna be able to be the ones to spit the opinion or give their two cents on stuff and not ever actually ask the woman, hey, so what do you think about this? Or hey, what ideas do you have? Uh, let's see, a guy that has a job or money that's coming in legally, meaning she's not gonna have to go on these dates and then pay for everything. He's not gonna, you're not gonna be asking her for her car all the time. Just the guy, and then you gotta be like, I know guys worry about like, well, women just want gold diggers or, or just gold diggers and they want guys that have hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can tell you emphatically, that is not true. But they do want a guy that at the very least can like afford a $20 dinner. Like that, if you can't afford a $20 dinner, maybe you should not be dating right now. You should be focusing on getting a job and a career that's gonna at least bring some regular money into you. Uh, let's see can chew with his mouth closed. A lot of guys, and I was guilty of this, chew with her mouth open because it's just easier to breathe. But you got to learn to chew your mouth with your mouth closed, guys, because she's going to want to go out to dinners with you with friends and family, and you're going to be sitting there smacking your food, and it's going to kind of embarrass her. So kind of learn to do that. Um, texting her back in a timely manner. Meaning, and I tell you guys all the time, texting kills attraction. So I'm not saying you got to be the first one to reach out and text all the time. In fact, it's better for you to save your reaching out specifically to when you're asking her for a date. But if she reaches out to you to make her wait for like two days, let's be real guys. If, if you like her and, and she's showing and she's texting you, she's it's showing that she likes you, text her back in a more timely manner. And it got to be like five minutes afterwards, but like within the same day, you know, um, says exactly what he means. Women want guys that when they say a thing, they mean exactly what they mean. They're not lying to them. They're not saying some kind of thing as it means to try to trick her into this other thing or saying this thing disguised as something else. Like always mean the words you are actually verbalizing. 
um, sticks to his word. This goes back to being truthful. If you say you're going to be there at a time, be there at the time. If you say you're going to help her out with something, help her out with that thing. You can't be the guy that says something and then decides, well, I don't feel like it now, so I'm going to go back to my word. No. In order to build trust with women, you have to be able to stick to what you are saying, all right? Uh, a guy that can make a decision. This goes back to, again, women want to be able to trust your judgment and your decision-making process. She doesn't want to have to always come to you and ask you to make a decision. And then your response is, well, whatever you want, dear, or I don't know, anything's fine. Like she needs you to be a decision maker. All right. Simple stuff. Um, a guy that can remember important holidays or anniversaries. The day you guys had your first date. Remember that date. The day you guys became boyfriend or girlfriend. Remember that. Remember anniversaries. Remember the day you, you proposed. The first time you guys kissed. Like these things might seem trivial to you, but to women, they signify that you are always on her mind in some capacity and you're willing to keep her there to be able to plan for special stuff to happen. If you can't remember that kind of stuff, she's gonna be wondering if you really care about her at all in the first place. Uh, knows how to dress and groom himself. You do not have to be dapper Don Juan, but know how clothes fit you. Know what shirts look good on you. Know how to iron. Know how to pick out pants that match with certain types of shoes. Know how to look at you know sporting events versus elegant events versus home events. Like figure out what your style is so you can present that to her. Again, you ain't got to go for like thousand dollar suits, but know how to get a decent pair of jeans and a, pair and a shirt. Hey, most of the shirts you guys see me wearing nowadays on these shows, I bought from Target. This shirt right here costs like 14 bucks, but it's a nice style for me. I like wearing it. I got a bunch of these kind of shirts and the women that I date, I find love these shirts. Okay. Um, doesn't fixate on his ex. Simple stuff. When you go on a first date, don't sit there talking for 30 minutes about your ex and how she dumped you and how, how much of a B word she was and why you guys didn't work out and all this other stuff. She's going to think that you're still obsessed about it. And more importantly, you're on a date to get to know her, not expouse about your ex. So focus on the future. And then of course, um, doesn't stalk her. Like so many guys, date these, you, you start dating women and then become obsessed. You want to stalk her on social media. You want to drive by her house to see if she's home or look in her window. You want to find out where she works. You can try to casually walk by. Like none of that stuff's necessary, okay? But again, this is what I'm talking about. About these are examples of, these are bare minimums that women are looking for. Now these women are looking for like, overly rich guys or not every guy's got to be six foot five or whatever, but basic respect, basic understanding her and listening to her and stuff like that. These are things that most men aren't doing well at all. So if you come into the picture and just do the bare minimum, right? You're going to have um, a leg up above 90% of other guys out there that are chasing after her. And I found this myself too. I found that honestly, once I stopped trying to overextend myself, once I stopped trying to do, you know, concerts for first dates and trying to pay for these big dinners and trying to do these overt gestures and trying to, you know, be there at her beck and call and just focused on, can I do the low bar, bare minimums correctly, consistently that women are looking for? That I found helped to build trust quicker. That I found helped to make her feel more comfortable with me and it helped her to realize that, oh, you know what? On a day-to-day -day basis, I can pretty much get along with this guy because these are just the small things that I'm wanting, but they're things I'm gonna need to see from him every day and he seems to do them pretty effortlessly. So really look, start asking women friends, hey, what are like the bare minimum requirements that women are looking for on a day-to-day -day with the guy? And just really start to figure out what those things are, that I, some of which I talked about in this video, but there's a lot more, but the point is, it doesn't take much effort, time, and energy to do the bare minimum. And honestly, most guys aren't doing that right. So if you do it right, then you're gonna have women that are gonna stay with you long-term because they're gonna be thinking, oh my God, I can trust this guy with my emotions, I can trust this guy with my feelings, and more importantly, I can see that this is gonna work out on a day-to-day -day because he just does the bare minimum so well. And then at that point, you can then learn what kind of things to overextend yourself on and the timing of when to do that. Now, if you wanna learn the timing at which you can do a little bit extra, like when to show those you know special things, when to start paying for dinners at a little bit higher in price or taking on these like grandioso dates or how to even get to the part of the relationship where she actually asks you for the relationship, go to my website.
introvertdatingsuccess.com. Go there to check out my, my audiobooks, my programs, my e-courses, all designed to help you date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. Right now, you can go there to get a free copy of my best-selling ebook and audiobook, No Girls For You, The Ultimate Guide to Losing the Girl of Your Dreams, simply by signing up for this video newsletter with your name and email address, all right? Also, guys, this show's about you. So if you have any questions you want me to answer on one of these shows or topics you'd like me to discuss, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. That's all I got for today. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next podcast. I'm out. Peace.